Hi, I'm Mark Daly of Thunderstroke Custom Bikes. We're just here checking out the next phase of the Superstore build. That's a 2012 Harley Road Glide that we're kind of converting into a sport bike kind of a feel with a little bit of a Bonneville flat look. On this phase of the bike, we took the whole headlight system out of this bike. The Harley Road Glide has actually a headlight system built in with a bezel around it. We took this all out, built a panel, uh, put P off-road lights in it. We got some turn signals in there to do their job. We built a panel on the back to kind of suck everything and draw it in, which is really a kind of a neat feel that I haven't seen anybody really do on a bike like this. We've taken a set of Arlen Ness front forks and ceramic coated them to give them kind of a neat edgy feel that uh, you know not a lot of people are doing. Most people just go with chrome or black. We uh, pretty much tackled the whole front end of this bike. We went with the ride right wheels with rivets drilled in 12 point bolts all the way around it. We drilled all the holes in these wheels, ceramic coated them two different colors, gunmetal and black. On this side of the bike, we actually have a dual disc setup, which Arlen Ness actually makes. Usually there's a, a disc brake hanging right here. We took that off so you can see the side of the wheel, really appreciate it. We moved them both to this side of the wheel. Actual crash bar that came on the bike or the engine guard, we cut it, just left it as a mount to hold the fairing and support it up. We took a aftermarket windshield, a wave windshield it's called, shaped it a little bit differently, painted it the color of the bike flat, put a number on it to give it kind of a number plate look, kind of a cafe kind of number plate look, which turned out really, really unique and I don't think kind of cool on the bike. We did a BDL belt drive on it, which is uh, all self-contained in a little cage that's two-toned, a couple different colors, gunmetal gray and black. The whole bike's kind of got that theme of gunmetal gray and black. It's all flats, so there's nothing really shiny on it. We used J-brake foot forward controls on this bike, took the floorboards off. The uh, controls move the rider foot rest forward just a little bit to get it more comfortable. All the nuts and bolts on the front end that we could pretty much touch, we contrasted them to the color they were against. We used an Arlen Ness shift rod. We two-toned it silver and black also, giving it again something unique that nobody really uh, has out there for something like this type of a bike. Our next uh, phase of the project is going to be we're going to go off to the rear end. We're going to do the fat bagger drop seat. Uh, kit which we have to take the whole rear end off the bike basically, kind of reconfigure, move some things around, drop it down where it's going to be where the seat's actually going to drop down into the bike rather than sit more on top of the bike. And then we're going to go to that, hit hit the rear end, we already got the back wheel on it. We're going to put an air ride on it, uh, which will drop the bike a couple inches in the back, up or down. We've already lowered the front of the bike actually about uh, two inches in the front, so we're going to do the same to the back. And then uh, you'll have to wait and see what we do next.